this demonstration I'm going to look at open space 3d and how we can use it with Google SketchUp to make uh, a virtual tour so I've got a house um, this is came with my samples um, for open space um, you can export this house as a 3d model using the DAE format which I've already done when it's in that format um, you can uh, then import it into open space so we go import scene we find the house uh, where is, there it is that import that I've created and we're going to import that as a new scene group bingo straight in okay there we go so the next job to do is start making it so we can work with it so we're going to set um, some physics to it so we're going to right click on the scene and we're going to set the physics settings we're going to enable the physics and we're going to generate them for the scene so it's all done automatically okay now there's some bits I want to get rid of so I'm going to turn off the physics for um, let's turn I'm going to turn off the physics for the pool so set physics for the pool I'm going to change it from collision tree here to none and I'm going to do the same for the plants set the collision tree oops, to none That's one plant done and set the physics and we'll do that one again to none okay so we've done that so our next job is going to be to add uh, a dummy camera so go back to our scene we add a dummy um, and then we'll call that uh, dummy position pause click on OK and there's our dummy I'm just going to move it so it's in front of the door so you can place this wherever you like right so now it's time to add some scenes so open our scene plugin set some navigation so navigation we're going to use for person like controller there's a few things we need to change on here so the position is going to be the dummy and we'll have to look the step sound on I think that's all we need really for that one so let's ok that and let's play it again there we go now I'm looking around I've got there's a window there so I can't get into that one Oops, there's a window there so I can't get into there must be a door in here somewhere let's take a step back and see what we can see there's the door it's open and I'm inside the house so I've already got my uh, basic tour working this is obviously set for Windows it can be exported as a Windows one or it can just as easily be exported out as an Android app you could even export it out as an Android app with stereoscopic vision for Google Cardboard. Uh, control and backspace to come out and now let's start adding some uh, some rendering to it. So first thing I think we'll do is set some environmental settings up. So environmental settings, uh, enable them on play, use real time. Let's go with, let's go local, so Great Britain. There we go. Uh, I live in Lincoln, so let's go for Lincoln. I'll not mess about with the colours, but you can mess about with the moon colours and the light colours here. Um, I'm going to use some 3D clouds. I'll generate some lightning. Uh, what else should we have? We've got some water enabled. We can turn that off if we want to, but we'll we'll leave that on for now. Uh, what else can we set in here? Let's have a look. I think that's about everything we'll do for now. Oh, real time. Put real time on. Okay. All right. Let's close that. 
let's uh, let's see what impact that's made. So let's press play. Have a look around. So I've got my clouds up there. Look, oh, beautiful. And we've got the sea. Control backspace to come out. We'll now um, add some shadow. So let's do a shadow method. Let's set it to a preset. And for our field of vision, let's set that to 90 meters. And close that. And we can have another look the difference it makes. The shadow's there now, that looks quite nice. Okay. And let's see what else we should do. Let's add some animation to the water. So let's go over to the pool. There's the pool. I'm going to select the water. I'm going to use a plugin for this. So we've got uh, right click, double texture shift. Let's see if I can find that. Materials, I think. Materials, there we go. Texture shift. And we'll do it on the water. So that's going to be the pool I'm looking for. Let's see if I can find it. Not really enough space. I think it's that one there. See if you can find it. Twenty-two. Port. There we go. It's at number twenty-two. If you're doing this yourself, um, and what should we set it to? We'll set the uh, zero point zero one in here. So let's put zero point zero one. in there, we'll apply it on the start and we'll press OK, so that should give us a little bit of movement on the uh, on the pool, let's have a look, let's see if we can see that, so if we have a walk around the pool there water going up and down I like that it's nice all right so we're ready to um, to export this as an application we've got a couple of options here and um, so the first one I save this uh, first I'll just put this um, we'll call this house and we'll go through a couple of the saving options so export so we've got a couple of options. We can obviously do it as an Android one. Um, they're okay on Android, but uh, my fa phone and tablet aren't pretty good, a little bit laggy. It's just as easy to do it as a Windows application. The benefit of doing the Android one, obviously, is that you can add Google Glasses to it and make a stereoscopic view later. I'm gonna export it as a Windows application just to show you this runs separately. So I'm gonna press Windows. Okay, I'm gonna use, uh, I'll go with DirectX. Um, and press OK and we'll wait. OK, job done. So let's wait for the folders to appear. Windows. Uh, so open space, export, Windows, house, and then there's all the files. There's the executable. Double click on it. A little bit long time to, to load my little PC. And here we go. So I can move around. Let's go in the house. I walk around the house. There's some scum again there. Let's have a look up the stairs. 
can get up the stairs. If I can get to the stairs. Here we go. And then we're up. Oops, I was up the stairs. There we go. Into one of the bedrooms. And looking out the window. All good. Nice, easy way of doing a virtual tour around a Google SketchUp created house.